In this video and the next several videos, we're going to be completing ice problems. We'll be calculating equilibrium constants and equilibrium concentrations using ice tables. Now these are probably the most challenging problems we've done all year, so pay careful attention. Pause these videos when needed um, and work the problems yourselves. Okay, so we have nitrogen dioxide and fluorine gas and that's going to react to make this product here. One mole of nitrogen dioxide and one mole of fluorine are added to an empty 1,000 milliliter flask. The equilibrium concentrations of FNO2 is 0 0.80 molar. Calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Well, this is going to be challenging, and for all of these problems, you're going to have to set up an ice table. Ice tables are set up in this fashion. Initial concentration, the change in concentration, and the equilibrium concentration. And notice that this is the reactant, this is a reactant, and this is a product. So we want to know what are the initial concentration of the reactants and products, what are the change in concentration of the reactants and products? And what are the equilibrium concentrations of the reactants and products? Okay, let's plug in what we know. It says that we put one mole of nitrogen dioxide and one mole of fluorine gas are added to an empty 1,000 milliliter flask. So we're putting one mole in one liter. And then we're putting one mole in one liter. So the concentration would be one mole per liter. So that's one molar. Initially, we have no product formed. So that will be zero. And it tells us the equilibrium concentration for FNO2 is 0.8. So the equilibrium concentration, once again, is 0.8. If initially we had zero, and at the end, we have 0.8. Well, how much did it change by? Well, clearly, the value went up by 0.8. Now, let's look at the coefficients to help us with our, sto with our stoichiometry. If we make two moles of product, how many moles of this reactant were used? Well, clearly, it's two. The relationship is two to two. Here, it's two to one. So if we make two moles, it means we use two moles. What if we make 0.8 moles? Well, that means we used 0.8 moles. Okay, now what would the value be for the change in concentration for fluorine if the relationship is 2 to 1? That's right, it's 0.4. It's half as much. 1 is half as much as 2, and 0.4 is half as much as 8. So that's just some basic stoichiometry. So if we start with 1 mole, and the value goes down by 0.8, at equilibrium, we should have 0.2. That's reasonable. Similarly, if we start with 1 mole, and the value goes down by 4, we should be left with 0.6. So now, calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Well, we have a formula for equilibrium constants. It's the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Now, here's something that needs to be emphasized. These brackets, once again, mean concentration. But they don't mean any old concentration. What they mean is the concentration at equilibrium. So the values that we plug into the equilibrium expression must be the concentrations at equilibrium. Not the initial concentrations, not the change in concentrations. It must be the concentrations at equilibrium. So crunching these numbers um, would give you a value of 27. So once again, this is bigger than, than 1. So that tells you that this reaction here, well, it's product favored.